Well, lovers, in case you haven't seen the heart-shaped chocolate in the grocery stores, a heads up, we're exactly one month away from Valentine's Day, so go buy the chocolates. But let me just tell you, love is certainly not in the air with UTEP basketball. Heartbreak is all she wrote today. Miners at Rice looking to move to 500 in conference play. And looking good here, Mario McKinney Jr. with the rebound and basket to put them up by six in the second half. But then Rice would go on a 13-0 run to take a 60-53 to lead. That three-pointer from Quincy Oliveri would start it and he'd get them the seven-point lead with the layup here. But just like we've seen all season long, this minor team showed some fight. Jamal Givens to Tay Hardy for the three-pointer to make it just a three-point game. That also gives Givens his 10th assist of the game for a double-double with 16 points. Just under 30 to go now. Miners still down by three. But watch this from Tay Hardy. He forces the turnover off the attempted inbound. Miners get a bucket off the back of that. So it's just a one-point game. Rice again trying to inbound, but the Miners having none of it with the double team that secures in the turnover Hardy with the ball driving and earns the foul all oh, miners fans hold your breath because we all know the line has not been good for you guys this season but try telling that to Tay Hardy he takes his time and absolutely sinks the free throws to give the miners a one-point lead with just over six seconds to play but Oh, yeah, heartbreak is all she wrote. Travis Evie left side with the floater at the buzzer. It's a buzzer beater for Rice to get the 83 to 82 dub over the Miners, marking yet another loss this season for the Miners, either in OT or right at the end of regulation. It's progress, right? Like making free throws late. So glad Tay and more impressed with the hustle play Tay had. Uh, with the ball going out of bounds on the first turnover than the hustle play Calvin had right here uh, to give us a chance. It's just multiple effort plays and guys fighting. And, uh, competing and that's what you like to see as a coach. Head coach Joe Golding went on to say that tough times pass and tough people last and they'll keep fighting and well that fight continues on Monday when the lads play at Charlotte.